I'm good. How are you? Very well. Lovely to meet you. Lovely to meet you as well. Hello, everyone. Ooh, there it is. Are you saying hello to Facebook? I am, apparently, yeah. We're now live, are we not? We are. Oh, there we go. Hello, everyone. How are you? What can I help you with? I'm here for the giveaway. You want this one? This is you. No, I'm Lorraine. <laughs> what, you think I'm, I'm this? Yes. Yeah, this is a little boy. I'm so confused. There is, there is a little boy. This is a little boy. So, what happens is, you don't remember it because you were in a happy state, let's I say. I was having a good time. You were having a good time, feeling no pain. But then TMZ runs that photo. Yeah. And then there are a lot of people that thought, oh, that's not a guy in a mask. Do you know what I mean? They thought, is that Peter Dinkley? Yeah, a lot of people thought it was Peter. Yeah. I'm not going to do anything to dispel those rumors. Peter's a sexy guy. Yeah, yeah. 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 Does she have a, a personal favorite dragon of her three? Is Drogon still the, the beloved child? Well, see, a mom can't have a favorite, really, mm. can she? But yeah, she kind of can. Well, I mean, you know, Drogon's the biggest, so... You know, not that size matters, but I'm, I think, you know, he's gonna, he's gonna, he's gonna fly the furthest. What's the craziest story you guys have had? Some guy just picked me up doing a Hodor thing, and he, it was the worst situation of my life. I, he was kind of holding me by, like, one leg, <laughs> hanging sort of sideways <laughs> off his Why body. Why taking a, a selfie? Yeah, or? yeah, pretty <laughs> much. <laughs> was, mate. <laughs> Thank you for yeah. that. <laughs> <laughs> I, uh, I, I had to wear these really thick contact lenses um, that were like 16 millimeters and hand painted so they looked all murky. Um, and they were so, so painful. Um, but you guys are like, you're an actress, stop complaining. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> well, there's a really lot of people bad. who wear contacts every day who are probably saying, hey. Right, no, for sure. But these are like 16 millimeters wide. How wide are your contact lenses? Yeah. I don't think that. Uh, and then uh, tweet that answer to us. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> At Late Nights Out. <laughs> <laughs> no, yeah. Yeah, and so they, they were they were really painful, but those were only for the super super close-ups. Okay. And then whenever I got a bit physical, like you saw in the clip, um, I had ones with little pinprick holes, and so I could see more. Okay, that's and, good. And that was kind of um, so as I wouldn't hit anyone for health and safety reasons. Yeah. But I still definitely hit Faye a lot of times. Gotcha. And Faye was the actress in the scene. Yeah, she's got... not actually with us anymore. Oh no. I'm kidding. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, sir. Hello, Mr. Veronica. Alfie Allen. How, How are you? I'm good. How are you? I am excellent. So, I have to ask... Why am I not up here? I'm really... I, that, Do you want to be up here? I want to be up there. Can we put a word in, please, Veronica? I mean, if you want to take my job, I'm okay with that, too. Oh, you mean on the wall? On the wall. <laughs> not here. On the wall. On the wall. I mean, I think we should both be up there. That would be pretty cool. I'm not ready to be up there yet. No, I think you are. Hi, I'm Lorraine. Hi. I, I recognize you from... Game of Thrones, right? Oh, I've fan. never seen Game, Game of Thrones. Thrones. I heard it's a really good show. This character, I heard, is really cool. Yeah, I know who you are. Oh, I was thinking <laughs> that I recognized you. Where do I know you from? No Have you been to England? No. Nope. Tinder? No. Nope. What do you think were Grey Worm's take on all the men surrounding Danny in that pivotal scene? Um, well, I mean, he wasn't there. He missed it. But I think if he was there, he would have... I mean, he would have died for her, I think. Take you... on all those Dothraki? Yeah, come on. Did you see? Did you see the the with the with the um the harpies in the little tunnel? Mm. And he just like destroyed all those guys. That scene was absolutely <laughs> insane. What was it like filming that? It was really fun. And they let me do it all myself as well. Really? Yeah. Yeah, it was it was great fun. I was just thrashing around. I got ill though. Lena, so nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you? I'm good. How are you? Good. Are you excited to be here at the premiere? No. no. I was going to order pizza and get some wine. <laughs> what do you want to win today? Because, by the way, we don't just give it for free. You have to do something first. What would you like me to do for You have to act out a scene from this Game of Thrones. Oh, OK. Um, you're going to walk in front of me just like you're ringing that bell. OK. Basically, I'm naked head to toe. You're naked? I'm totally naked. Head. That's so sad. Yeah, OK, okay let's do this. Okay. Shame. Shame. Yeah, yeah. Everyone throw shit stuff at her. Um, but speaking of other cast members, can you describe a little bit Jockin's relationship with Arya and how that's evolving? We have a great relationship. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, I had to blind her uh, recently, but uh, I mean, she deserved it. She did. Well, I mean, uh, had she obeyed me, it wouldn't have happened. It's going to make her stronger, which is exciting. Maybe make her stronger? Well, I really hope so. I, re I really hope she gets stronger, yeah. You guys are so good at not giving any even hint of spoiler. Like, I can't even trick you into saying that she will be stronger or not stronger. You're very good. 
Is this a bobblehead or something? Or no? I don't know. Uh, limited edition. He looks annoying. I think it's a girl. Oh. It's a girl? Wait, maybe Arya Stark is a guy. All right, there's a picture on the back of that one. Oh, that's from the show. Wait, no. How do you react when, when fans really dislike a character you play and yet you seem like a really nice guy what do you do when people start yelling terrible things at you on the street does that they happen don't. no they don't no? they don't no they, i think game of thrones fans are very discerning very intelligent and they know you're only an actor so you know they say you broke my heart but you know still the show is awesome and we love it so so obviously uh Bruce and ramsey had some tense scenes last year can you go through some of that some of their dynamic going into season six um yes well you know he Ramsey is this thing where he's kind of really good in the battlefield and he, you know, he produces and he turns up with the goods for the Boltons, but behind closed doors, obviously, he's a psychotic uh, guy and he does untold damage. So last year, you know, we beat Stannis, that was a great thing, but this year he let Sansa run away and who would blame her? So uh, that is a major, major problem for the Boltons and we need to get her back. So he's going to get in a lot of trouble with Dad. Going to get a spanking from Dad? He's going to get a spanking from Dad oh. and maybe a little more. I know, tough act to follow, right? Oh, I read your wonderful interview uh, earlier are we this already week. Going? Yes, we are, oh, going. are we going. We're live to Facebook. You can say now hi to everybody. You've talked to Dave and Dan. Now uh, I'll give you my gray matter, what lack there is of it. It was, it was the SAGs, and um, I, I was right on, on the table next to it was like Ryan Gosling, Christian Bale, and uh, Steve Carell. That's a good table. It was a good table. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I would and, kill for that. Right? Oh. So I, I was like... <laughs> I would. I mean, that's heavy hitters. Yeah. It's really heavy hitters. And uh, so I was like sat there and Steve, like Steve's back was like right to me. Oh. And, oh. <laughs> <laughs> he is just so cute. He is adorable. <laughs> would you rather be a member of the Night's Watch or, well, technically, I guess you were part of the King's Guard already. Um... I'd be a member of the Night's Watch without all those rules about the ladies. They don't need that. They'd be a lot happier up there keeping warm another way. I forget, is that a technical rule of the Kingsguard as well, or is that just thrown out the window? Uh, yeah, they, none of them can get married. Ah, oh, okay. Would you rather fight a White Walker or the Mountain? I guess we kind of know the answer to that question. Uh, the Mountain is mortal, so I guess the Mountain. Unless you have some dragon glass. Yeah, but that's really hard to get a hold of. It is, yeah. If you're going to nerd out on me. I, I wow. am. That's all I know how to do. That's, that's why I'm here, basically. Dragon glass. <laughs> is Jon Snow, is he really dead? Uh, he is dead. Ned Stark is also dead. <laughs> right. yeah. He died in the first season. How then does Jon Snow's death change the game? <laughs> no, no comment. <laughs> <laughs> so how do you think Ramsey's feeling after the end of last season? Sansa's taken off. Mm. You're, you've got some issues on your hands right now. Yeah, big issues, big problems. Well, yeah, he's, he's I mean, they're kind of buzzing because they beat Stannis, but then also um, losing, I mean, oh, losing Reek. He has to draw, you know, run his own baths and stuff now and get his own clothes, fetch his own food. Terrible. Get dressed himself. Um, but also, no, but then losing Sansa is a big blow because politically um, he needs to uh, produce an heir with her in order to consolidate his position in the North. So it's really important to get her back. I was speaking to your TV dad earlier and he is, he's not amused. No, no, no. He's very, very cross. <laughs> what happens if you play a little games? What happens? You roll the dice. Mm. Um, so if you could switch characters with anyone for, you know, for a couple of episodes, is there a character you would love to try out on the show? Oh. I'd like to play Daenerys Targaryen, I think. I think I'd be really good on... I'd, I'd, I'd look great on a dragon. That's it. Yeah, yeah. That's a good one, with the blonde, long, long blonde hair. I think the blonde hair. wig would really work for me as well. Yeah. That's awesome. I can definitely see that for you. Yeah. Baelish, you know, he does care for Sansa and is enjoying being her, like a tutor or watching her, you know, really kind of bloom under his... Uh, <laughs> Um, of all the men and creatures on the show, uh, who do you think has the best beard? Are you putting Torment in the running for that? Um, can, I, can I answer? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> yeah I think yeah. I, I, it's pretty good. Yeah, I, I, I think I'm, I'm definitely in, in the lead. So, 
Would you say that the, the Wildlings and the Night's Watch, are they doomed to be enemies forever? Are they always going to be fighting? Or are we going to see a little more of them working together in, in upcoming seasons? Well, uh, I can't <laughs> talk about that, but it's like we have been fighting to get through the wall for like three seasons, and now we have are through and we are like at least a bit safe. So uh, let's, uh, let's hope for the good, let's hope people work together, but, you know, no conflict, no drama. <laughs> to go to those really dark places, you have to kind of keep it light in between. But, you know, ironically, Uran kind of was one person who kind of helped me through it. You know, the person that you see inflicting all this pain on me was actually really there for me. Sorry to be all mushy, <laughs> but you were, you know, he was a... Uh, a lot of love in the room. There's a lot of love in the room. Remember what you are and what you're not. But what sort of things can we expect from your character? Some more horrific behaviour, um, <laughs> <laughs> real disgraceful stuff, you know. Yeah, you, you wouldn't want to take him home to meet your mother. <laughs> Liam, you've been acting a long time. Did you ever expect Game of Thrones? What are you laughing at? What's that supposed to mean? Did you notice that little snigger? No, I think I caught him in my peripheral vision. Hello! Hi, my friends. How are you? Very well. Come on in. How, how have your travels been? Crazy. Where yeah. are you from? Um, well, I, I was actually had some time at home. Okay. Uh, yeah, which, which is rare these days. So, yeah, I'm glad to be there. Uh, I wore extra tall heels just for you, and really? I'm still not even close. Uh, I wore my heels as well, though. I'm sorry. Uh. <laughs> my cha-cha heels. <laughs> so what, what's coming up for Hodor this year? Are you excited to be back in the mix? Well, without telling you anything, I, I am very excited to be back in the mix. Um, it's a really good year for us. Uh, it's very interesting. It's a lot of fun. So that's all I'm saying. Now, Hodor is definitely a fan favorite. What do you think is the secret to his popularity? I think it's his genuine nature. Um, I, I don't think there are very many nice people in Westeros. Right. And he, he's a very genuine guy. You know, you know where you are with Hodor. It's basically you and Tommen are like the two nice guys oh, in Westeros. Whatever, Tommen's horrible. <laughs> yeah, Hodor is much better than Tommen. You're the sexiest woman alive. Wow. Well, um, that must be uh, wonderful for everyone in your life to know yeah, I know. Their, their friends or related to the sexiest woman alive. It's yeah, it's that was a that was a funny shoot. It's you know I kind of people ask me about that and I'm like yeah I you know I feel like I should have open supermarkets or something yeah with that title you know well, what I mean? no it's pretty it's pretty amazing though and yeah. the, the, the beautiful shots inside did you have fun doing the shoot <laughs> well so this so, okay so doing doing those kind of you know like sex scenes on camera is one thing but doing it as yourself I need alcohol to do <laughs> that's what I needed so I was kind of like they just kept giving me vodka and I'd be like I'm just gonna keep the duvet ready I'm gonna keep the sheet up and they'll be like oh three two one go <laughs> and like just yank it down you're like no well, it's not really um, that I mean you don't see it's not really thing. naked no, you know it's, it's just a very little tastefully done exactly just so sort of so you were drunk yes all right uh -huh. <laughs> That's me drunk. That's no. me photoshopped and drunk. Well, That's yeah. what I look like. <laughs> well, what did, what did you get to do during your time off? Well, I DJed pretty much every continent, every country nearly. So I'm continuing to do that. So it's been crazy. And any time for video games? Always. Oh, always, yeah. <laughs> I always have a laptop. I always have Warcraft with me. So, oh, nice. Yeah. So that's, that's how we bond, yes. Yeah, that's how we met. <laughs> As an actor, was it nice to be able to take that different kind of step towards a more mature character from, from maybe what Sansa was previously? Oh, yeah. I feel like I've been waiting on this season for the, from, from the beginning of season one. I saw this potential in her, and no one else did, and now I can finally show it to people. <laughs> Ha -ha. Ha -ha. Do you have any personal favorite actors that you love working with on the show, or perhaps someone you haven't gotten a chance to do any scenes yet with that you would like to? I mean, everyone's my favorite. Good answer. Um, <laughs> Good answer. Very, very political. Yeah, I know. Okay, I'm nervous. Actually, nervous. Oh my god, this is like, um, okay, so like the situation that I'm in, I'm like having a really good time. Okay, like, you're a valley I'm girl. Kind of, yeah. yeah. Would you rather um, fight a White Walker or the mountain? The mountain. Because she's friends with his brother, you know? Okay. She can kind of figure that one out, I'm okay. sure. All right. And, and friends is a loose term. <laughs> <laughs> and finally, would you rather ride a dragon or be the three-eyed raven? 
ride a dragon because I don't know what's going on with that three-eyed raven, but it's like tripping me out a bit. I don't really know what's happening with that. I, I can't figure out why anyone would not want to ride a dragon. I know it's just it's just the coolest thing. Like, if you're on Game of Thrones and you don't ride a dragon, what are you gonna do? Why does Danny get to have all the fun? I know. I'll just ride my direwolf. Oh no, that direwolf died. Never mind. Oh, yeah. too soon. Too soon. Too soon. Hello, Maisie. How are you? Hello. How are you? Good to see you. Oh. Thank you. How have you been? Fantastic, how have you been? Great, yeah, really good, thanks. Are you excited to be here? Yeah, I was so nervous when I came in the car, but now I just feel happy. What on earth do you have to be nervous about? Well, I don't know, like, we did this same uh, location. We did the Chinese theatre when we were, when we did season three, and that was the first premiere that I'd ever done, and it was, like, overwhelming. And then I drove up this time and was like, oh, wow, there's, like, seven times the amount of fans and seven times the amount of crews. And this show is now like off the scale. And that was just a moment where I was like, oh wow, my life has changed forever. Um, okay, uh, um, it's just, uh, we are just having a fabulous time. Uh, you're French? Uh, you know, yes, 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 yes. yes there we go. What, what would be three words that you would describe your experience on season six? Because obviously we can't give too much away. But if there's just a little something about Arya's experience. Incredible words. I can't see. That's like it. And that's like some of her dialogue as well. That's an exclusive, ladies and gentlemen. Well, it was very sad. Your, your relationship with Shireen last season was so wonderful to watch. Um, is there, do you feel like Davos needs to find someone else to get close to? Could it be Melisandre? I mean, that would be super weird. You know what? Not even George or, or Martin would put those two in the, in the uh, yeah. I don't think they're, I don't think they'll be looking at uh, honeymoon trips anytime soon. <laughs> Okay, what I love is I love the pasta and I love the pizza. Oh, you're Italian. That's yes, great. that's good. Um, uh, okay, um, oh, woman, what? Oh my God! <laughs> I think we have some more interviews coming up. Hi, hello. Would you like to join us? Okay. Well, hopefully you guys are enjoying. Oh, hello. Hello, hi. Veronica, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. What was Liam Cunningham talking about? He was talking about how he can't get close to anyone because whenever he does, they die. Yeah, that's. Uh, and I told him I, he kind of had to. Of that. I've been having that pr problem as well. Where do you see Littlefinger settling down? Do you see him as, a, as an eerie kind of guy? Do you see him back at the brothel? Where would he like to live out the rest of his days? <laughs> an eerie guy or a brothel guy? Oh, yeah. um, Mixing it up. I think maybe neither. Neither, neither. Um, I think that he really does like to be in a position of power, or you know, close to close to the close to the top. But may, but he's, he's bright enough not to be the person who is at the top because that's dangerous. It's uh, time-consuming. It's not as much fun, and you can't really play. You can't play people so much when you're in so visible and have so much responsibility and so many other people just want you dead. Well I had a, a, a day where I had to get on a horse a lot and my trousers kept ripping <laughs> repeatedly <laughs> and I mean not two or three times, 14 or 15 times every time I got on and off of this horse. My, my trousers would rip at the crotch and then the rip would get bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger and they'd have to stitch it up and then it'd burst again. And it was, <clears throat> it was very, very funny um, for everybody other than me. Uh, <laughs> Hello. Hello, Nikolai, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. How are you tonight? I'm good. I'm How excited are... about it. It's crazy. This is a crazy experience. Is it fun for you What's to kind of, this, this is our camera, which is an iPhone. It's an iPhone. It's an iPhone. Okay. What do you think of that? That's, that's, a, that's a big iPhone. <laughs> Have you ever done an interview for an iPhone that wasn't just a random person on the street? No, this is actually the first okay. thing. And, and who's watching this? Uh, Facebook. Oh. There was a moment in series four where Aria, it actually wasn't funny at the time, but now I look back, it was very funny, um, is, is pushing Needle up against the hound's ch breath, um, chest plate on his um, armor, and she's pushing it, and, and the stunt guy was, came over and just moved it and said, why don't you put the point of the blade here? But he didn't realize I was pushing pressure, and so he went to move it, and I fling the sword up, and it smacked me right in my face. <laughs> 
months. And at the time, everyone on set was like, ooh. And, and I was really wanted to cry, but I was like surrounded by these men who carry cameras around sets all day. And I was like, don't cry, don't cry, don't cry. But now I look back, it must have been pretty funny. Do you have a favorite location that you filmed at so far? Anything that stands out to you that you really love being in? I love, I love the mud of, of Northern Ireland. It's a very, very, it's really good for your skin. And especially when you spend a day in the mud and it, it kind of, you find it in all the most surprising places of your body when you, when you wash. It's really cool. The end of season four, the last day's filming in Belfast, the season was wrapped. I had spent the whole season telling everybody, don't tell me your storyline. I don't want to know. Don't, no spoilers. Don't <laughs> tell me. We get to the last day, I'm filming with uh, Nikolai and Jack Gleason in the throne room or in the King's Guard room about the security arrangements. We finish the scene, I walk outside, I'm having a cigarette, and Charles Dance walks up and says, Well, the little bastard finally killed me. <laughs> Charles! Spoiler. Well, all right, Another, in terms of other awkward questions, we know that Jamie hates the nickname Kingslayer. Yeah. Is, there, is there something he would rather people use around him? Jamie? Just Jamie? I think so. I, I, yeah, I'm guessing. That's what he said himself. My name is Jamie. He ah. said that to Brienne in, in the bath scene. And I think that uh, That's you, right. you should, yeah. Not, but nothing more, nothing more fun, nothing more complicated, like old gold hand? Gold hand? Yeah. Yeah, I don't think he's too happy about it. I think, to be honest, I, don't think, I think that hand kind of reminds him of, of, uh, of better times. I like old gold hand. I'm gonna go with that. Okay, well, old gold hand. Okay. Why old? <laughs> Harry has. <laughs> yeah, under his tutorship, let's yeah. say. So, um, yeah, that was unfortunate. And I hope she's okay.